This is part two of my six-part series, using Altera Cordis version 12.1, an iOS suite, and SOPC builder. First, you will see that this is exactly the lab that we designed in part one. You have your SOPC chip, your clock input, your four-wide bus input, and your eight-wide bus output, and of course our reset. What we're going to do in this lab is run a simple Hello World using the Cordis 2 hardware. In order to do that, we must sync the clocks of the SOPC chip and the Cordis hardware using the pin planner, which is located at the top of your screen. This is your pin planner. Under where it says clock on the input, set the location to pin N2. That is the clock controller on the, the Cyclone 2 hardware. Then you're going to recompile your project. Once that is done, open up your programmer. You'll get a window that looks like this. You should see your board here, and click Start. Next, what you're going to do is going to go into Tools, Neos 2 Software Build Tools for Eclipse. Select your workspace, for mine is Lab 2, and click OK. Mine is already loaded, so I'll just show you that window. Here I have my project already loaded. You're going to create yours by going to File, New, NIOS Application, and BSP from Template. You're going to select from your workspace your SOPC input file for the SOPC chip you designed, and click Open. Here you will see that under CPU name, it is populated with your CPU name. For our project, it's just CPU0. And then name your project. And I have named mine Hello World Small. From Template, select Hello World Small and then click Finish. You will see that Hello World Small and Hello World Small BSP appear in your uh, left-hand side of your screen. Under the BSP, right-click and select Properties. Go down to the NIOS2 BSP Properties and make sure Reduce Drive Drivers and Small C Library are checked. Click Apply and then OK. Next, go to the NIOS2 tab Select BSP Editor. Make sure Enable Reduce Drivers and Small C Library are checked off here, and then go over to the Drivers tab. Make sure Enable Small Driver is checked, then click Generate, and then Exit. Next, you're going to right click on the C and build the project. You should get a build finish down here in your console window. Then you're going to right click again, run as, and iOS 2 hardware. Now if you see in my iOS 2 console, down at the bottom of my screen, now in the middle, hello, hello from NIOS 2. That is running off of the Cyclone 2 board. You, if this, you're getting this window, you have successfully completed part 2.